I have recently reviewed the CineTube Use by CineLite and if you don't know what they are or how they work, well then go and check this video first. But today we're going to talk creatively and I want to show you how you can use three simple CineTube lights to recreate a real photo shoot or video shoot scene. A scene like this, for example. This scene has been lit by the current CineTube U series made of three different lights. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mamware. I usually share camera gear reviews, but I also want to show you how to use these tools to enhance the quality of your videos and how to use the tools creatively. So hit the subscribe button now because today it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to take three photos today with three different lighting setups. The first one is the simplest. We're going to use only one cine tube. The second one, two cine tubes and the third, three cine tubes. So you can actually see what you can do with different amounts of lights and with different setups. It's going to be a special vlog also because we have original uniforms from the Italian army given by my friend Paolo, which I thanks a lot. These are all original from his collection. So let's get back in time and let's start with the first shot. For the first shot, as I mentioned, we have one CineTube light. We have one soldier standing up maybe with a cheeky face, and I want to create some drama as well. So we're gonna use a black backdrop, like that wall over there, that's a black curtain, and I'm gonna set up probably the CineTube 60, which is wide enough to cover the width of my shoulders as well. That's what I wanna achieve, I want to create some overhead light covering the width of the soldier, and I think I'm gonna use the leather as well to set it up. So be creative, use everything you have. I'm already wearing half of the uniform, so, don't judge me. Let's move the ladder now and I'm gonna put it, I think, somewhere here. What I wanna do is to use this boom stick with the light on top to have an overhead light just above the soldier. So the light will be right there with a black background lighting up just the front of the face of the soldier. So we need to find a way to fix it. I need to find a counterbalance over there so the light can actually be in an horizontal position. What I'm thinking to use now to counterbalance is this light stand. I'm not sure, it seems quite heavy, but let's see if it works. I just hang it <laughs> professionally. Oops, huh? not bad. The light has been balanced with an awesome light stand <laughs> hanging right here. So be careful what you do guys with your stuff. But the light is, is perfect, it's just above my head. So it will be just above the soldier head. I'm gonna place this camera, which is the camera we'll be taking the photos with, right on the tripod, right height. I'm also going to check the lenses, what lenses I need. As this shot is gonna be a proper close up of the soldier, I'm gonna switch to the 7200. Right now I've got a 1635, it's quite wide. But once again, as it's a close-up, it's a portrait. I really wanna get every single detail and that's why I'm using this beast right here, probably at 70 millimeters. What I'm gonna do is to turn the other lights off and just keep the light I need for the shot so I can actually see how the shot will look. So this key light, woo, black backdrop, you can't see anything very contrasty, which I like. The soldier will have a hat similar to this with the visor, so it kind of reproduces what I want. And as you can see, I've got the over shoulders light as well, the overhead light, and I might want to see a little bit of his face. By the way, I'm using a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, and I'm taking the photos with this camera too, and you would be impressed how well actually it works. If you want to see the photos I've taken, with the black magic, go and check this video. So you might have noticed different things. First of all, my camera is now in portrait mode, so vertically set up, and also I've got a new friend here. This is another way I focus on myself when I'm on my own filming. I use another stand, a tripod, and I place it where I'm gonna be, then I'm moving towards the camera and pull the focus. Just basically over the stand. So in this way, I'm sure the focus will be right 
and I've got the focus peaking on my camera too. Here I am. Let's turn this light off. Pretty dramatic, isn't it? You might notice also this lot of air above my head, which is made on purpose. I just want to create some drama and that's a way for me to create it, like something is dropping from the sky and then you see the, the face of the soldier. So second shot here, we are trying to reproduce a professional photo shoot of this soldier in a studio. It's just a three quarter, half body of the soldier looking away from the camera. And we're gonna use this great background actually, which works really well. And we're only using two tubes, two LED tubes for this shot. Maybe the 60 and the 30, I think they're enough. And also I wanted to guide you through the settings of the camera. This time I changed the aperture to 3.5 f 3.5 so i had to close the aperture down to focus the whole body and not just the eyes as i was doing in the previous shot shutter speed is 148 iso 400. we set up the key light right there as you can see just 45 degrees above paolo which is creating this light triangle under the eye that's the rembrandt effect like the the lighting style of rembrandt he was a painter it just creates some contrast and it makes the image very interesting and you can see it through the main camera over there now we're going to set the uh, fill light the hair light once again we have to be creative with the ladder just to create a stand you know make your own stands and tripods so here i am the soldier from uh, mid 30s this is the field cap original field cap from paolo's collection we are ready to shoot right there. So you can see the fill hair light right here. This is my key light on the left hand side. Rembrandt uh, lighting style. Ready to go. I'm now looking for some props that can be used on the shoot and first of all I've got this nice and old writing desk so that's definitely something we need in the shot number three which is the most complicated one but let's look in my list and I'm gonna show you my list of the props actually that we need for the other shots as well my friend is bringing one of those old fountain pens but I need the ink pot which guess what we have one in the house how lucky there it is still with some ink inside so perfect prop so what we need now is my mom mom allora ho bisogno di sigarette we need cigarettes every soldier had a cigarette by the way guys don't smoke that's not a good habit also we found a paper cutter i think that's how you call it paper knife so that's something that might suit on the desk and also maybe some books about the selection of shots actually my friend borrowed me some of these books from his collection so i'm looking for portraits of soldiers actually of world war one so we tried to recreate some of these studio shots and i selected some actually i looked online as well there's a lot of stuff really cool and interesting projects so that's a good tip guys go and check things out online or through books you're gonna find good inspiration for your projects I think that's pretty much it from what I can bring. So that and me, we're taking the desk down. Ready? <laughs> so happy. Okay, ready to drive to the studio. I'll see you there. Here we go, studio time. Let's go. Here we are in the studio and the desk is already at my back right there. So there's something important I forgot, a chair. <laughs> First of all, I think I'm gonna prepare the props, set up the settings and then check the lights, position the lights already and uh, get ready to start shooting. It's always a good thing when your mom collects old furnitures and objects. So I have the proper props for today's shoot. Good stuff, mom. I think for the third shot, the one with the writing desk, I think I'm gonna use the white background and reproduce 
a daylight shot as in this shot I'm going to show you right now actually. So maybe with some curtains over there pretending it's a window, some light coming in from the window and then another couple of lights to light up the soldier. Oops, I'm going to break the props, my mom is going to kill me. Shall we start creating some atmosphere check as soon as I turn the light off? It just changes everything. I'm moving the desk a bit further away from the wall because I want to create more depth. Now it's too close and I think the soldier is going to create some shadows here on the wall as well. That's why I'm moving it further away, maybe somewhere here. I think this is going to be the position of the desk. I now need to find out the right uh, focal length for the camera and for the lens. So I'm going to take my camera and see what we can do from there. And it took me <laughs> a little while actually to set this up, but I'm happy with it so far. huh? It looks like a film, doesn't it? Also, I want to talk to you about the settings I'm using for this shot. And I'm using the camera at 24 FPS, filming at f1.8. The shutter speed is 1 48th of a second. And ISO is 400. Also, in terms of distance between the camera and myself, that's, I guess, it's a meter away. So, not very far. The focal length is 24, 25 millimeters right now which still gives me a bit of depth of field as you can see here this is out of focus and that background is probably going to be a bit out of focus as well and I keep my subject in focus but I want to show the the whole scene so the desk and everything that's on the desk so that's a nice focal length for me and this is actually the background light which is going to reproduce the daylight going through the windows and I'm going to show you what's happening here actually I kind of modified the light. That's basically stopping the light to light up my subject, so myself sitting down on the chair. For the background light, I'm using the 120 Cine tube. It's 80% power, so quite at the maximum. We're using also a ladder to reproduce some shadows on the wall as blinds, so if the light were going through some blinds, and actually works pretty well. And again, this is how it looks. You can see there the, the shadows of the blinds. I'm gonna show you how the shot looks through the camera. So that's it guys, that's how I look just with the background light. And now we're gonna add the key light and the fill light, the hair light maybe here on the right hand side. So let's keep going. So we just set up the second light with my friend Paolo. He's, he's hiding, you know, he's very camera shy, but he's sitting right there. So I've got the second light here. This is going to be the key light, actually. So this is the background light. That's going to be the key light lighting up the subject. Ah, that's Paolo. Hello. <laughs> we, got, we got him. This is the CineTube U60, the 60 centimeters, so the medium size. Are we happy? Very happy. We're very up. So we set up the key light on my right, on my left hand side. This is the main light that's going to reproduce again daylight, and it works pretty good. You can see me through there. So the light is now at fifty six percent. So I dimmed it down from a hundred percent. I think it works better. And also we put some foil as well to stop the light to go against the wall in the background, and also to light myself up a bit better because uh, the foil works as a reflector as well. It's really good, it's good fun. And now let's set up the third light. Look at this hat, this is a cool hat. This is a very cool hat. Third light set up, that's the hair light or fill light. And it's right here on my right hand side. And you can see it now there through the main camera. Basically, this is lighting up my right hand side of the face, but still I have a bit of contrast here in the middle. The hair light is the CineTube 30, so the smallest one you find in the series. And also we put the soft grid, which helps already to direct the light. There it is. Okay, this is the shot. Now the fun part, I'm gonna dress up and uh, we're gonna take the photo. So I'm in the uniform. This uniform is from the end of the 30s. It's an original uniform, so we need to take care of it because Paolo is looking at me. That's from his private collection, great collection. I want to give you a bit of a backstory about the role I'm playing and I'm a kind of a young uh, second lieutenant, still a young soldier. So daylight, I'm in my office just doing my job as a regular day. We're now taking the shot, so I'm gonna do a bit of acting and take different shots and see what we like the best. But this is the lighting setup for the shot number three. <laughs>
Here again with the first lighting setup we have created today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, if you learned something new, hit the subscribe button and the like button and I can't wait to see you in the next creative one. Take care and God bless. Memories fall and rolling